NASA is getting ready to send people back to the moon come 2024. A group of students is trying to make that mission even safer by developing some new spacesuits. TJ Del Santo explains. It appears to be uh, very, very fine grain. These are some of the first observations of the lunar surface during the Apollo 11 mission. That powder sticks to just about everything, lunar landers, rovers, and spacesuits. The moon dust can be the size of asbestos particles. And, and that size and, and the sharpness is what makes it so dangerous to humans. Um, that once astronauts come home and they've been exposed to this regolith, it's, it's gotten inside their lungs. Um, it, it can really become a, a problem for their health. The dust can actually shred astronaut suits, and now students from Brown University and the Rhode Island School of Design are creating dust-repelling electrostatic fibers to keep dust out of vulnerable spots on spacesuits. The system they developed has three layers. The outermost layer carries the electrostatic charge. Um, that is the one that is our primary repulsion uh, mechanism. That electrostatic charge should repel most of the moon dust, but just in case, there will be dense fibers below, which should keep the dust out of the suit. So it's actually um, inspired by chinchilla fur, which I, I know it sounds weird at first, um, but so uh, chinchillas, they're, they're so fluffy um, because they have 20 hairs per follicle. Their electrostatic dense fiber system is one of seven nationwide proposals selected for further development. And, and as a whole team, both Brown and RISD, we're, we're so proud to be an undergraduate only team um, competing in this graduate level competition. 